In this video, I'm going to give you a behind the scenes look at this project. This image is actually two different stamps. It comes from a new stamp set that'll be in the fall catalog that's coming out this um, 2021. But it's this line image here, and then it's a background stamp. My plan was to heat emboss in gold and then color in the flower images with a marker and have that background stamp show through. So behind the scenes, what I needed to process or think about was the fact that the order of operations has to be stamp that lime image first, do the heat embossing, and then put the pink color behind it. Reason being, if I stamp that pink ahead of time, it's going to be slightly moist. So if I stamp the pink and then right away stamp for the gold for the embossing, the gold embossing powder would stick to the pink. I tell you that before I give you the next tip, because that's important to remember. The fact that Stampin' Up! inks are wet enough that you can actually emboss with them. Okay, hold that thought. I got my Stamparatus set up because I'm actually mass producing this. You can see I've got all my parts set down over here. Um, so I've got, I've got these things all ready to go to stick on my sentiments. And here's a little uh, paper saving tip. This green layer, here let me show you the finished project again. So this green layer here is actually going to be hidden, be sandwiched behind the white one. Nobody's going to know there's a hole in there. So I just saved a little bit of paper by punching my green circle from that. All right, I have all my white parts cut and ready to go. And I've got my Stamparatus set up so I don't have to think about the placement. So I don't have to waste paper by getting these two not perfectly lined up. Everything is all set up and easy to go for mass production. This is a huge time saver. I love the fact that the Stamparatus has more than one hinge. I'm actually going to remove this one just to get it out of the way so that it's easier to have a conversation. Now I just have the, um, the one arm set on. So I need to know ahead of time, and I put my grid paper in here so that I remind myself the exact place where I want to place this piece of paper for the stamping. So now let's talk about the real reason that I came on to videotape this. When you do embossing, Versamark is the ink of choice for being sticky and gooey to hold on the embossing powder. I like to keep my embossing powders in a plastic tray. This becomes a real easy way to contain the mess and catch all those little stray parts. So let me show you the problem that I encountered to start with. I ink it up with a Versamark, press down on what I believe is a firm, good coverage, take my piece of paper out and sprinkle it with the embossing powder only to discover that I missed a little bit of a section there. And even if I go back in and sprinkle more powder there, it didn't stick because I didn't have a good enough ink coverage there. And the problem is that when you stamp with Versamark, it's clear, you can't see where the ink goes. So here's how I solved that problem. Instead of using the Versamark, I'm going to come in with a color because remember I said that the color, the reason I don't stamp that pink right away, that uh, fill image, is because the embossing powder would stick to it. So instead I'm going to stamp it with a really light color, but now I'll be able to see if I have good coverage. And if I miss part of the image, I can see that I've missed it and then I can come back in and make sure that I do have good coverage. And now the embossing powder will stick to this, and then I'm good to go. I didn't prep this piece of paper very well, so I ended up with some stray bits of the embossing powder stuck where um, I wasn't planning on it for the image, so I'm not sure I'm going to use this one on a project, but you can see I wanted to leave it continuous with no break so you didn't think that I was trying to trick you or anything, but you can see that I'm not seeing any of that color, that uh, papaya color showing through. All I see is the gold embossing powder. So, wonderful thing about Stampin' Up! inks is they are gooey enough to hold your embossing powder on, and if you are ever concerned that the Versamark, because you can't see the image on white paper, 
um, and so you're not sure if you've got good ink coverage, then go ahead and use a color and it works just fine.